I don't think we should be spending all of our energy thinking about the machines killing all of the humans. That's a science fiction thing to think about. We should talk about it a little bit, but to have it dominate is really a mistake. Mm -hmm. um, making these systems accurate, making them able to express uncertainty, making them adaptable to new situations, those are the kind of things we need in domains like medicine or education, which are really important domains. And our systems do hallucinations, but they also don't even know how to say, I don't know. How can you have a system that doesn't know how to say, I don't know? That's a dangerous system. And so what I don't like about the AI thing is that it focuses on a single individual. It focuses on a single computer and making it smart. Really, the focus should be on the collective. And the collective is all humans, mm -hmm. but it's humans and computers together. That's a collective. And you want to think on the goals of that collective. And I think there's many. Make it safe, make it reliable, make it understandable, make it fair. These are all not obvious challenges. And that's what I really want us to be focusing on in these years and not, not worrying about things that are, uh, are, are science fiction. We are seeing a fragmented world, Professor, as you have uh, clearly acknowledged earlier, uh, geopolitics, uh, economy not necessarily at its highest point uh, for many in the world. So how are these factors, you know, from your perspective, likely to have an impact on many of the potentials that you would like to see in machine learning, in artificial intelligence? You know, so one of the things that has made humans slowly you know, develop and, and thrive for thousands of years has been trade. You know, trade um, is uh, exploiting complementarity. Again, it's kind of an augmentation. You have some skill that I don't have, but I have some skill that you don't have. Can exchange. We exchange. And in our era, we have somehow diminished trade, you know, where there's been tariffs, there's been, you know, that. But that's such an ineffectual way, and it hurts people. And, and there are eventually people that wake up and say, that was a bad idea, and let's move the ship in a better direction. Uh, there's enough need for further connectivity, um, and part of it is economic, but part of it is cultural. Uh, there's more people that fly around the world and know each other as well.